Okay, this is a new project of Li-Fi communication, a wireless communication through a VLC, visible light communication. Uh, this time uh, we have done a communication of computer or uh, uh, that PC that you have, whatever you have, uh, with uh, this uh, transmitting unit and it will give the data by light to this uh, uh, reading device. This is a uh, photo transistor and through this uh, we'll get the data uh, through these wires to uh, the microcontroller okay these are the power supply units for uh, the circuits uh, each one have a 9 volts of power supply okay uh, go for a bit uh, technicality this one a basic circuit where we are using a microcontroller 889s 52 uh, of 40 pin uh, uh, pin headers that DIP and this uh, this is a AC and DC power source also you can input a 24 volt maximum of 24 volt and minimum of 9 volt to drive the microcontroller circuit and uh, uh, if you if you have some motor or another uh, equipment having a power source greater than a 12 volt then you need a minimum 13 volts of supply uh, to uh, uh, go through the circuit. Now uh, this time we are using a 9 volt of power supply because we don't need uh, extra power supply from the regulator uh, 7812. This is 7812 to provide a 12 volt of power supply to the circuit and this is 7805 to uh, provide a 5 volt of power supply to the circuit. Okay. Uh, from the battery when we get the power supply through this bridge rectifier we get the DC supply always we have uh, uh, not always but uh, this time we have a DC supply uh, through the bridge rectifier only two diodes inside the bridge rectifier is working and uh, it will give the DC uh, output to uh, the regulator circuit if you apply uh, AC then it will convert to DC and filter through the capacitor okay okay so uh, for from this regulator we get a uh, 5 volt of power supply and these are the sockets where we can go for take out the power supply but still we don't need uh, there is only extension of 5 volt ground and 12 volt output supply okay so uh, these are the extra pins where port 0 Okay, this is uh, port 0, port 1, port 2 and port 3. From port uh, 2, this is 2, this is 2.0, 2.1 pin from where we have attached the LEDs. Or if you have some PCB design or a stack of LED with the PC, you can insert with these pin also. So uh, there is really no necessary to go for extra circuit design. This is only a 2. LED circuit that's why we have done with uh, uh, that is uh, we have a crystal here inside of a land point zero nine five two uh, megahertz to provide a two four zero zero baud rate uh, from controller to uh, RS two thirty two communication uh, from pin number ten and eleven we'll get the receive and transmit signal but in this circuit we get only a receive signal. Uh, through this we get the TTL input from uh, uh, that MAX232 IC it will provide the uh, TTL level uh, from where this analog uh, input is modified by uh, hex converter IC that is sent for LS14 so this thing is hex inverter and through this we get the uh, exact plus and minus uh, amplitude level pulse uh, to the max 232 IC where the, this signal is not very much uh, pure but from the max 232 we will get the exact TTL level of 5 volt it goes through the uh, these sockets okay first we go for uh, when the photodiode receive the signal through LED when there is any uh, data process uh, it will go through this uh, photo transistor and through the photo transistor we get a plus or minus or level of data that is in 0 1 format we'll get 
in uh, this IC and through this uh, we'll get the signal to um, and this max 232 where the 0.01 uh, microfarad of capacitor is inserted uh, this is to leveling a threshold voltage to uh, the uh, max 232 IC okay when the levels of TTL and the data is processed through this wire it will go to pin number 10 and uh, 11 and uh, in this IC we have programmed if uh, the particular value from the computer will get like if you get 0, 1, 2 or whatever their uh, data format is processed through these IC to this photoreceptor and it will goes inside and through this we will get the TTL output at serial buffer where the string is to be converted to the binary data and the relevance of the binary data is to transfer uh, uh, to their re relevant port pin values like if we go for one uh, put one then it will go to enable the light of this one if we go for two it will enable light this one and if, if we if i go for off then it both are get off okay uh, now the transmitting side uh, here we get the port 2.0 from this the cable is connected to uh, USB 2 serial converter uh, you, because the USB doesn't allow that RS232 communication so that's why we have to convert this to USB 2 serial format where the RS232 communication is to be performed and through uh, this RS232 communication then it will goes to uh, the low current and low voltage not a low voltage that is 5 but uh, because of uh, uh, the signaling uh, is a bit low when it is connected to the device so we have to amplify those signal uh, that is also done by the max 232 so uh, from this uh, max 232 we get uh, uh, one f we get 150 milliampere maximum of uh, current and 5 volt of TTL logic what you have provided then it, uh, uh, it will goes to uh, this IC uh, that is same as N4LS 154 where the signal and current is more amplified and provided to the LED and those signals are being inverted by this transistor and uh, the, this transistor is to ignite uh, not to uh, ignite that is uh, to switch on the LED continuously and whenever the signal is uh, came through uh, this uh, um, this IC uh, it will give the fluctuation means uh, it will pulse the data and the uh, pulse rated data is goes through the photodiode so uh, at this point the signal is inverted and it will go to photodiode and trigger the diode uh, sorry diode not this is not a diode this is transistor uh, to trigger the transistor then this signal is again go to the inverter circuit and revert the circuit to the next section of this IC then it will goes to the max 32 so this is the whole process now uh, we are going to perform the small operation where the LED is to be on or off okay uh, we'll go to the program here uh, you can see in the program we have to first i'll stop the previous one okay uh, now i run the program go for a start click here we get the port 2 actually my uh, this port is connected to uh, uh, pin number uh, not a pin number 2 that is a port 2 so from here I, I like to connect the device now the device is connected device means the USB 2 serial is now connected and also the device is connected because uh, we get the, some logic from the program and if I switch on the first device on then it will switch the first LED uh, uh, it will glow and if you go for the second one then the second one is glow 
second LED is glow okay and now I switch off then I will switch off okay to uh, go for better now you can just switch on first when I click Emergay. Yeah, now the alignment is not proper. So there is a problem. The second is on first. First is on both are off. Second one. In the alignment is bit out. So this is a small bit bulky uh, design of visible light communication. Uh, hope you enjoyed my video and stay tuned with us for further videos. Thank you and goodbye.